Who are Luo Fang's four teachers and how helpful were they to him? Luo Fang is the universe human race's most talented cultivation genius. He advanced from being a weak existence to the most powerful eternal god in the universe ocean. Luo Fang's rise is inextricably linked to his four teachers. So who are Luo Fang's four teachers and how helpful were they to him? Number 1. Hu Yanbo. Hu Yanbo is originally an extremely strong official undying in the universe. Although he is already such a rare powerhouse among the high cosmic empires, his strength is not considered strong in the universe. Although Hu Yanbo's strength is lacking, he left all his wealth, cultivation resources and secret techniques to his last heir Luo Fang. After all, he and his chosen heirs were all dead, although it is nothing to Luo Feng in the future. Luo Feng would not be able to break out of the earth and see the vastness of the universe without Hu Yanbo's inheritance. Number 2. True Yan Emperor Although True Yan Emperor is also an undying powerhouse, he is an invincible undying emperor. Compared to Hu Yanbo, the difference in strength is like the difference between heaven and earth. Moreover, even limit immortal emperors will be terrified upon hearing his name. True Yan Emperor's strength is considered invincible under universe venerable level. When Luo Feng joined the Virtual Universe Company, True Yan Emperor discovered Luo Feng's talent when Luo Feng passed the Tongtian Bridge, so he secretly gave him some help during his cultivation. Under the guidance of True Yan Emperor, Luo Feng's strength increased day by day. In order to thank True Yan Emperor for his kindness, Luo Feng worshipped him as his teacher. After getting such a qualified disciple, True Yan Emperor was naturally extremely happy. In order to train Luo Feng, he didn't care about anything. He even used half of his wealth to purchase an extremely powerful secret technique for Luo Feng. When Luo Feng saw these secret techniques, he was a little dumbfounded. But after Luo Feng mastered it, his strength made an extraordinary progress. It is precisely because of this that Luo Feng passed the 13th floor of Tongtian Bridge. As a result he got to be known as a 10,000 era cultivation genius. Number 3. Primal Chaos City Lord Primal Chaos City Lord's power is far beyond that of True Yan Emperor and Hu Yanbo. He is originally a disciple of the human race's original ancestor. At the same time, the Primal Chaos City Lord is also the most powerful existence among original ancestors' disciples, being a peak fifth-tier universe master. The Primal Chaos City Lord can be called the second strongest to the human race. After Luo Feng passed the 13th floor of Tongtian Bridge, his talent got discovered by the Primal Chaos City Lord. As a result, the Primal Chaos City Lord accepted him as his disciple. With the talent shown by Luo Feng, the Primal Chaos City Lord became more and more partial to Luo Feng. He even gave a true treasure such as Shi Wu wings to Luo Feng. Not only that, Primal Chaos City Lord also helped Luo Feng in creating his own ultimate techniques. It is also under the teaching and favor of the Primal Chaos City Lord that Luo Feng's power rapidly rose. Number 4. Zuo Shan K. Zuo Shan K's power is not comparable to that of the powerhouses in the original universe. His true identity is the Lord of the Jin God Kingdom from the Land of Origin. In its heyday, Zuo Shan K was even a God King powerhouse. It's a pity that he was later killed by the three God Kings of the Shi God Kingdom. In order to be able to return to the Land of Origin for revenge, Zuo Shan K began to train talented youngsters in the original universe. After Luo Feng passed the test of Star Tower, Zuo Shan K accepted him as his third disciple. Facing this talented third disciple, Zuo Shan K not only taught him a secret method such as nine volume manual that can upgrade one's life genes, but also gifted him with true treasures such as Star Tower, Force Armor and Ancient God Eye. Not only that, he also provided Luo Feng with series of training. It is precisely because of this that Luo Feng was able to reach the legendary level of eternal true god.